Picture this, you've recorded your video and your audio and you've found a point at which they match. For example, this, where I tap the yes button on this here game. Let's tap yes. Perfectly synced. And then later on in the video, just to check you've got it right, you make another point to match your video and audio to. But it seems in iMovie something very strange happens when you have audio and video together. They somehow, over the course of the video, seem to unsync. So that this happens when I tap the evolve button. Be better, so let's evolve and watch. Seems a bit wrong, doesn't it? Well, it does. And I've had this issue for a long time and I didn't really know any solution to it, but I found one buried deep in a comment section to another video about a different topic, so I thought I'd make this to showcase what I found because it's brilliant and it works. So, if you have found yourself in this predicament, what you want to do is get a point at which the audio exactly matches the video and marker them by pressing M on each of the clips just so you know that you've got it synced up, and then you go to your second point at the end where the audio would have drifted out of sync and what you do is you change the speed of the audio clip. Now to start off what you'll need to do is actually change it in like a 1% increment which is actually too much. The audio drift is not that much overall but it does still drift noticeably out of sync. So if you do it 101 or something like that the marker will move noticeably back but what that does is give you this the circle of joy and what that lets you do is edit the speed more finely so then all you do is drag the speed so that the markers join up with each other just about like that so that when you play the video Again, but I should just be better so let's evolve so that actually works properly and then if you go back to your first marker point you'll find that they're still both in the same place yes. like so and that's how you do it there's all sorts of strange things about bite rates. Now I got and stuff like that, sample rates. I've got no idea what that stuff means, I'll be honest. But that's the method for doing it. And I thought I'd record a short little video explaining it away. Because if I can understand something like that, anyone can. Because I'm technologically inept. And I thought instead of people trying to find it buried in a comment section somewhere, I thought I'd make a video on it. Because I couldn't find anything else detailing this fix. So that, that's how you make your audio do good, and I hope that helped you. Goodbye.